Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can become unwashed in Fortnite Season OG. Don't worry because this video is going to help both PC and console players. Now quickly before we hop into the video, if you're just getting back into Fortnite, you're going to need your settings optimized. Two quick things you're going to want to change are your disable pre-edit options and also your replay mode. Make sure the settings off because it's going to reduce your delay a lot and also allow you to realize your mistakes. So now you're going to want to quickly scroll down to the bottom and you'll find all the replay settings. Make sure all of these are turned off because it's going to stop your storage from being taken up and also reduce your delay. If you want a guide to fully optimize your settings for editing fast, Make sure to check out my last video. So to start off, you're going to want to go to the top left where this little search icon is, and you're going to want to put in this map code right here. Now many pros will go ahead and tell you to play this map, and the reason for that is it really helps you warm up your mechanics and your aim. When you hop on the game and you're choking edits and you're missing shots, that just means you have more room to improve, and that's a good thing. Warming up your mechanics in this map also helps you get used to the delay that you find in the actual game. Now the next thing that you have to do every time you hop on the game is free build. You can use any of the maps that have one of these speed moderators, and I always start off super slow to work on consistency and crosshair placement. If you have no clue what you're doing and you don't know how to free build, I do have a video for beginners which teaches you how to build in Fortnite. So as you guys can see, I'm just working on things like triple edits and working on my crosshair placement and getting really consistent. Now after I do that for about 3-5 to five minutes, I increase the speed and do whatever I can possibly do. Even if I can only do a couple double edits and maybe some ramp flips and stuff like that, it still really helps my mechanics and my awareness. Now you don't have to do this for too long to feel the effect, cause once you you turn your speed back to normal your edits and retakes should feel super fast and inconsistent now the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is aim aim is one of the most important mechanics in fortnite and plays many roles in the game if you have bad aim that automatically means you have bad crosshair placement so if you want to take your aim to the next level i'd hop in one of these aim trainers this is the one that i use even if you just practice this map for like 10 to 15 minutes a day your mechanics are almost guaranteed to skyrocket it's super important that you're able to finish off clips and hit shots especially when there's controller players in the game who have aim assist literally you could be going against the worst player in the world and if he has better aim than you and you're not hitting your shots then it's most likely that he's going to win so the last thing final thing that i'm going to talk about is crosshair placement crosshair placement is by far one of the most important mechanics in fortnite this mechanic affects all your other mechanics such as aim editing and building good crosshair placement means that you're doing the least amount of movement possible to complete an edit or build the reason why this is good crosshair placement is because i'm not going all the way around the wall and taking up more movement to complete the edit this also goes for builds for example say if i want to do a structure like something like this right here if i can keep my cursor tight in this little area while i'm building these walls that's way better crosshair placement than taking up all this extra space right here or for example if i go to do a 90 and i'm like swinging all the way around that's so unnecessary when i could just easily stay in here and place these four walls like that now the first way that you can instantly improve your crosshair placement is by lowering your sensitivity be careful with this though because you don't want to mess up your other mechanics and if you're comfortable with your sensitivity then it's very unnecessary to lower it but if your sensitivity is already too high then i highly recommend to lower your sensitivity because it can help you improve your crosshair placement very well now this map right here is the map that you're going to want to use almost every day in your warm up. This is probably by far one of my favorite maps and I think that this one's helped me the most. You can infinitely keep going through this map and work on your crosshair placement and all you need to do this is for a little bit every single day and you'll have drastic improvements. So that's it for the video guys. If you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and as always thanks for watching.